Kyle, a couple of goals, a 2-0 win, a perfect night for a striker, right? No, absolutely. Uh, I've been waiting for a, a few goals like that all season, to be fair. You can't beat a few tappings like that. Uh, first one was brilliant by Enzio. Sort of drove in and beat about four players. And then the second one was a good bit of play all round. Um, so, no, a good night in the end and good three points. Uh, my co-commentator, Mark Stellard, used to play for Knotts. He knew where the goal was as well, loved to tap in. Yeah. And he said they all count the same always, as a 30-yard yeah. screamer yeah. as well. I wonder if... Everybody loves scoring a 30-yard screamer, but is there something quite satisfying in a tap-in for you when it comes from such wonderful build-up play from your teammates? No, we were, we were literally just saying that inside. Then uh, all the lads like, it just shows how good of a goal it is when you can just tap it in from a few yards out. As I say, for the first goal, Enzio, brilliant, drove past a few players and then just put it on a plate for me and I put it in. And then the second one, it was a nice bit of build-up play. And again, Ruben, great touch. And he, he could have shot to him, uh, to be fair, himself. And he just put it on a plate for me again. And it's another great team goal. When Jimmy Knowles cut the ball back to Ruben, he takes one touch the yeah. nerve to take a touch there, yeah. the composure. And then he takes another touch and he yeah. sticks it on the back. If he'd have cut the ball back to you, Jimmy Knowles, would you have hit it straight away? I would have, yeah. No, <laughs> absolutely. Um, but fair play, picked him out. Uh, good play from Ruben, good awareness, the touch. He, he could have hit himself. He was a bit frustrated with himself because he actually over hit his touch a little bit. But then, like I say, put it on a plate for me. And it's a great team goal. It was a really nice celebration, I noticed, between yourself and Enzio yeah. for that first goal, how you lifted Enzio up, because he's, he's a guy who promises so much. He's got such that's ability. It. That's it, yeah. It's about showing it all the time, yeah. and I just wonder how much you put an arm around him and, and whether he needs that. No, me and him get along well. Um, we're always having little conversations, little chats, and we're having a laugh and that, but that, just, that glimpse there just shows what a good player he is and what he can do. Um, if he can do it every week, every game, then I'll be happy if he can set goals up like that for me. But um, no, he's just got to stay focused and just keep doing things like that for the team and keep, get, keep getting his shots off, I say to him. Do you know what I mean? He's got a great shot. We've seen the goals he can score even from outside the box. And I want him to cross the ball for me as well so I can get more goals. So no, it's, it's, good, it's good team spirit at the minute. Um, as we say, we're really thankful for all the staff and everyone to get the game on because we, we were desperate for a game and it's even better for it to be at home for us. Um, and it's just great. We're grateful to give something back and give the three points to everyone at the club and move on to the next game. It's the first time that Notts have managed to score two goals in a league game since yeah. November against Wealdstone. Yeah. Does that surprise you and why do you think that is? Why have there yeah. been a few struggles of late? We, we, we surprised me, but we we have been getting frustrated and we've we've noticed it as a team. Um, but we, it's, again, first half, we were trying not to get frustrated being in because we weren't really that involved in the game, getting opportunities to get in, in behind and things and getting chances. So I think teams like that, they, they were a good football inside, but they did come in and sit and try and shut us out. Um, I thought as the game went on, we wore them down and two great team goals and that's what we've got to do sometimes we've just got to be patient um Doyle is brilliant the captain he, he he manages us and says look obviously like times like that not to get frustrated we have got the quality and it'll come and like tonight um great team performance I thought even at the end god everyone was putting their lives on the line to keep it out of the out of the net and even last game obviously seen a few cuts and bumps and bruises but that's what we're here for and we want to climb climb the table and just like, the games are coming quick, uh, thick and fast and everyone's buzzing for that. Things have certainly shored up at the defensive end of late, yeah. but why do you think prior to tonight things were looking a little less, I don't know, convincing maybe at the attacking end, weren't scoring so mm, many goals? I know, yeah. Uh, it's, it's a tough one to say. It was frustrating. They did they played it well first half, I thought, and cancelled us out. Uh, they made it frustrating for me and Inny um, to get on the ball and try and link the play. Um, but no, I think it's I think it's just a confidence thing, and again, the games are coming. It's just getting that momentum now with a good win, two two great team goals, should give us that momentum to go away to Weymouth and put on another good performance and hopefully get another three points. It's a ninth goal of the season, I think, yeah. for yourself. Three yeah. assists in that over 17 appearances so yeah. far. That's pretty good ratio that you're having an impact in the final third in 12 out of 17 appearances are you happy with that and do you set yourself a target do you know what it could be better I've missed two penalties um, I've missed I've had a few games where I've had some good chances missed but that happens as a striker you've just got to push them aside and go again and that's what I'm about I'm not going to give up I'm going to keep working out for the team and in this team you're going to get chances it's just down to me and whoever else to take them um, so when, when that opportunity comes, like I say, you've just got to take them. You love a late goal as well. Of your nine yeah. goals, I think I know, yeah, this six year. of them have been 80th minute right. and onwards. Do you feel the the burden of pressure to be the man who does yeah. score for the team? Yeah, no, the gaffer said this to me. He said, uh, don't let it get to you too much. Uh, obviously, last season, Deno, he chipped him with a lot of goals as well. 
Um, but no, I'm just I'm focusing on on playing my part for the team, and obviously I'm going to chip in with the goals uh, when I get the opportunities. Um, but I think as a team, um, we've just got to keep creating opportunities forever in the box, outside the box. I think at the minute we could shoot from outside the box more. We've got some great players that can hit a ball very well. Uh, it's just that confidence, and again, we've got two nice goals today, three points on the board, clean sheet. Just go on to the next game and keep that momentum. As you said, momentum. sorry, as you said, the manager said try not to to get bogged down yeah. in, in the pressure of it. Yeah. But when you look back to last season, you had yourself, you mentioned Christian Dennis at the football club, yeah. Wes Thomas at the football club yeah, as well, who's, course, who's yeah. just left it. You've got any Effie Young up there with you as yeah. well. But I just wonder if you ever do feel the pressure to, to be the man who has to score the goals in order to win the games. No, I don't feel a pressure. Uh, at the end of the day, it's my job. Um, not to just score goals, but to link the play and do my job for the team. Um, at the end of the day, I'm a striker. I want to score goals. That's what I'm hungry for. Um, and again, last season, we well, scored goals. And like you say, obviously, Deno was a miss. Uh, Wes has gone now, but we've got to move on. You look at in his record, he scored goals last year in this league. He knows the league. He's an experienced player. Um, it's just it's take a bit of time to gel. But I thought, to, again, tonight he'd done well. Um, again, Jimmy Knowles, look at him, he was brilliant tonight. Um, he's only just turned 19. Uh, he'll be a player, I'm, I'm telling you. And uh, he will chip in with goals. And he, I thought he'd done brilliant tonight when he come on. Do you and the other players tend to listen to all of the stuff off the pitch at the moment about the uncertainty as to whether or not the season mm. will continue? And, and I wonder how much thought you do give it. Yeah, obviously, well, we've heard what, what could go on. Um, but I think... One day we came in training and we heard the news. It was a bit of frustration in the session, but we had a little chat between ourselves and just said, look, we've just got to go on game by game. Um, we ain't going to stop until, do you know what I mean? We hear that's it. So, um, which fingers crossed is not the case, but um, everyone's here. We, we, we've been relishing and looking forward to a game and we've had two now. Um, we just want them to keep coming. Uh, the squad, everyone's ready. And uh, yeah, we're just fully focused on the games coming and that's what we're going to do.